Hello, this is the DIY Magician with another episode of Dismantle It. This time, we're doing something that I know many of you out there would love to have done when you couldn't get your cable box to work. Dismantle it and damage it up. Well, we're not going to damage it up, but we are going to dismantle it and see what makes a cable box work. Before we go any further though, let's take a look at what's going on with the cable box. If we turn it around right here, we have all of the inputs and outputs for the cable box. We have a little cooling area. It looks like we even have right there is where the power goes. And on the front, we have all the little gadgets and this and that. And then there's some sort of a, of a card here. Uh, this is the, uh, the, well, I won't tell you the company, but um, there it is. There's the card that it works with. Uh, this was another donation from uh, somebody in the local neighborhood. And we're going to see how it works. So uh, let's take some screws out. Three screws later, but they were Allen screws. Threw me off for a second there. But what I want to show you is the seal is still on this unit. So I'm going to break the seal just like that. And three screws held on the lid. Oh, please tell me it's just going to come open. There it goes. Okay, you have to kind of shift it side to side. There it is. A sheet metal cover slides right off. Dun, dun, dun. The easiest open yet. Yes. We did it. Ooh, look at this. Lots of stuff inside. Oh my. We are going to have some fun here. Now, it looks like there is a computer drive right here, which is pretty darn cool. And there's all sorts of other gadgets, all sorts of little, little dealies there. And I'm using the uh, scientific terms, by the way. Um, but I want to see what we have to do. It looks like another Allen screw right there. Of course, we would need, yep, that's it. That takes off some sort of little gadget on the back here. It looks like it's covering the, the drive. So there's a little circuit board right there. And that does nothing. Oh, you know what it is? It's attached to that. Okay, hold on a second. Let me get that off. This is the uh, coaxial uh, cable. Of course, I didn't think about doing those. Now, why would I? There we go. So we got that. This might be a clean dismantle this time. So that goes through there. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay. And out comes the first little circuit board right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I think it clips on down here. I'm hoping, well, yeah, it just slid right in. Okay, first circuit board down. Now we've got the, the drive, which goes, he's got these little gadgets here, and it looks like they're Allen's, but they're big. They're, oh, they are, of course. Why make it simple? I guess they don't want people fiddling around with these and dismantling them. Well, this again was donated to me. So the original owner is going to take full responsibility for the loss of the equipment. I'm sure they've paid for it over and over and over again. And they're, I'm sure, very, very modest, modest bills. Okay, whoops, that one is a little struggle. Okay, wait a second. Going back over to this side here. I've got a couple more over here. And then we'll be able to get that hard drive out of there. Okay, actually I think I can possibly, oh, let's try it again. There we go. We'll get that to, it's, there we go. I think it's just in there, hand tight. Uh, I think I can, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can use the Allen one more time here. Hold on a second. Almost got it out. Almost got it out. Okay. These tools are, are awesome. These little clusters of different sizes here. I'll try it again. I get it all the way over here. I might 
be able to get that last little bit. There we go. And there it goes. Okay. Let's break this one loose. And then we'll get that hard drive out of there. All right. There it goes. Another little bump here with the Allen. And, oh yeah, this one's a little easier. It's in there hand tight there. Okay. So here we go. We've got that one right there. And then there goes the hard drive. All the good information is on this. And there is a little clippy gadget there. And another clippy gadget here. And it is on the hard drive back here. Let's see here. Uh, clippy gadget on the back of the hard drive. Oh boy, that's a fun one. Wait, no, there it goes, there it goes. And ta -da! the hard drive. And I think I'll do this on a separate uh, little video um, because there's a lot going on with the hard drive. Um, we'll do a whole hard drive episode. So there's the hard drive there. And the housing has still got some gadgets in there. Now, I don't know how involved we want to get. I can, uh, let's see here. I can, oh, here we go. I can take another screw out up here. We're going to see if we can get all this stuff out of here. Oh, of course. Why would they make it simple? And, of course, this is going to be real snug in there. But I don't, of course, have... I don't have it. I don't have a tool that will not get all bunched up in there. All right. Well, the main thing is we've got a circuit board here held on by one of these little Allen screws. We've got a circuit board here. It is uh, held on by this, this bar here. And I'm going to have to uh, dig my toolbox. I'll be right back. Well, I got it. One of my favorite tools. It is a little cluster of all sorts of different size bits and a nice little handle. This is probably one of the best tools you can get. Uh, this one is actually uh, made by Craftsman and I'm very happy with it. But any one of these and you can just uh, keep the little block right there and keep everything handy. These, these stay in pretty tight. Anyways, talk about it another time. What I was able to do, though, is find the right gadget to get the job done. So here we go. We're going to continue on. I'm going to get that screw out there. This actually worked out pretty good. This is a really good one. And uh, it's clipped in. Please tell me. There is a another one right there. That holds the little bracket on. And, of course, that's a different size. That figures. Let's see if we can bump it up to the next size here. Maybe that'll do it. No. Is that the one Phillips? No. Oh, what is that? That is a Phillips head. No. Hmm. Let's go with a larger Phillips head. Yep. They do put Phillips heads in these things. Come on. That's actually like a sheet metal screw. It's holding this whole uh, bracket in. It's the bracket that was holding the hard drive. There we go. They put one in there. So that takes the little side bracket off. That screw stayed. No, nope, the screw's coming out. There it goes. Okay. So this just shifts over there. Except we have one more screw over here. Hold on a second. Let's put this one back. It's a star bit anyway. And remove it over here. We're going to dismantle this if it's the last thing I do. There it is. There's some actually really cool little pieces in here. I wish I knew what these were. I'm not very good at electronics. I'm a basic guy there, but look at that. Uh, all sorts of neat things. Uh, I've been told to stay away from the capacitor, and I'm guessing... Because the plugs here, it's on one of these things. It might be this one here. I don't know. But I am going to stay away from it. So that's going to go right in there. Okay. All right. 
And I'm sure some of you are watching at home going, <laughs> don't touch that. But there it is. Okay. All right. So now I've got that screw out there. And I've got this bar here. This bar is held on. Uh, this is another, I think, uh, Phillips head. So we are going to remove that. And that, I think, will free us up to get this last uh, bar out of here. There it is. Awesome, awesome. Now that is going to do this. And I'm guessing you just do it like that. And there that little bar goes there. See, it's working. We're doing it. Another little pluggy deal here. Okay, the technical terms, of course. And so there we've got it right there. We've got some loose screws in there. Never fails to make me laugh. I've always got a loose screw someplace. So here we go. There's one there. We're going to make that one. Oh, that one gets to the box. And let's see, is it loose yet? No, there's something. Oh, there's one over there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Now, here's where we've got a lot of these little uh, coaxial type cable connections. So it might not be an easy remove, but we're going to try. There we go. And I'll uh, be, let's see, removing something over here. Let's see here. You know what? Um, I think this just clips on, believe it or not. There, there it goes. So the cover on the front, whoops, I got a little carried away. Uh, looks like it just clips on right there. And a little clip right here at the end. There we go. Oh, awesome. Okay, so that was easy. And the little gadget here is uh, attached to, well, this, this part here clips on as well. So we, I think we can just do this and remove this from awesome look at that so again like before uh, we've touched on things about uh, little buttons and stuff uh, these little gadgets here will push on these little switches right here okay and they're all kind of lined up in a, in a little pattern to match up with the uh, plastic there okay so that's how that works and I don't want to damage that I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, is it just going to pop right out? It might pop out. At one of these sides, it's going to pop out. The other side, yeah, it's probably this one here. Well, we'll see in a second. Because that comes out. Get that out of there. And I don't know if... It, oh, that one. Okay, so that's where it is. It just slides in this little deal here. So that part goes there. This part goes there. We're getting close. We're getting close. And there's a clip there. And... Okay, it's loose there. There's got to be another screw over here. I don't see one there. Again, you're probably, uh, some of you are probably going, hey, don't do that. Okay, so, you know what? Let's see here. There is, on the back, I noticed these little holes here. I don't know if those are screws. You know, they might be, because I didn't try them with... Yeah, figures. Uh, oh, there we go. I didn't try them with the uh, the Allen, so maybe it is an Allen screw. And again, we're going to try that, and maybe that's what we have to do. So let's try it. Here we go. Is there something in there? What is on the back of that thing? I don't know what that is. I don't feel anything in there. No. Well, that's not it. Okay. Let's try... Let's try looking at it one more time here. I don't see, see I had a screw here and a screw there and I don't see any more. I really don't want to break it, but oh, let me say, I think part of it again is our little connections here. I think we need to remove these things first. Well, I'll tell you what, we've done a good job. We've gotten a lot of this out of here. Maybe that's it. No. I think what we've got, the problem is it's attached at the back right here. So, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. I think I've got it. I see some little metal clips. 
And again, it's all sheet metal in here, so it's really, really sharp and dangerous and all that fun stuff. Let's see here. No, no, I thought maybe we'd be lucky and make it work uh, by removing those little gadgets there. Um, I don't see how that is going to work. Uh, oh, I know why. Well, let's see here. Maybe this will do it. There's another screw right here. I thought it was for later on, but it is later on. So there we go. We've got one screw there. I'm glad I went and found this tool because it really is being useful now. There we go. And then another one here. And this is the RCA section back here. Uh, RCA, uh, one of their technicians years ago made it and it splits audio and video and it is really helpful when you're using those connections so you don't have to do, do all sorts of fancy stuff. But there it is. That's loosened up now. Uh, let's see if this is working. I've got that part to move, but that doesn't help me right now. Okay, uh, let's do these. Let's remove these little gadgets here. There we go. Let's loosen them up. I think I can hand do them once we get going. And I think, yeah, I think the one on the bottom has already been done. So let's do this one. Again, all I have to do is look. That's the best thing. If you just open your eyes, you'll find all sorts of neat things here. Got one, two, and three. There it goes. Okay. Is this going to do it? Oh, 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 I think it might have done it. Persistence. Persistence is not futile the Star Trek fans. Okay, that one good, good, good. I got that out of there. And it's making it a little easier. Okay, let's pop that loose there. Pop these loose here. I'm bending the housing, but I really don't care. And, but I want to see if I can keep this circuit board so you guys can see it all. And then that one and that one. And there's probably a way for me to have done that. That figures. But I didn't need to bend all that back up there. So that came out there. There's the back of this one here, and it is held on by one of these little gadgets there. And it's pretty much stuck right there. No, I guess it will come out there and there. There it is. We've got it down to the last wire that is on this little gadget right here. The last wire. There it is. This is something you've been waiting for for years. The dismantle of a cable box. That's right. Again, this is the DIY Magician. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me for another episode of Dismantle It. Until next time. If you enjoyed this video from the DIY Magician, you also might enjoy joining our Facebook group. That's right, the DIY Magician Facebook group. Or you can visit our artist page, that's right, the DIY Magician Artist page on Facebook. Or if you want to, please subscribe to the YouTube videos and you'll see all the up-to-date videos as they come along. Thank you again for watching the DIY Magician video.